been there uh, during that disaster. Uh, it, you know, I remember Ronnie invited me to go and fly with them. He said, we got our own plane, come ride with us for a week. Uh, you can hang out with us and maybe uh, jam with us on some songs or, and do whatever, you know what I mean? Um, sure. At the last minute, uh, when they left to go on that tour at the last minute, uh, I was already back with Blackfoot and, and I, my agency, the agency for the band called and said, I have shows for you guys for the next couple of weeks. And that kept me from going on that trip. And wow. um, as fate would have it, and it was kind of an interesting deal. Uh, later on, when I got back with Leonard Skinner, our first tour over in uh, Europe. We were in London, England, and then played a show, and we played it, the show, right on the anniversary of the plane crash. And Gary that night looked over at me so serious, and he goes, tell me something, Ricky. Where were you? And I said, uh, what do you mean, Gary? What are you, what are you talking about? He goes, where were you on that day? And I knew exactly what he was talking about then. I said, Gary, as... <laughs> As life would have it, fate would have it. I was right up the road in Columbia, South Carolina, getting ready to play that night as you guys left. Greenville, South Carolina. And oh, wow. um, so, you know, uh, and he looked over at me and he says, well, you know what? Uh, and I kept telling Gary, I said, you know, Gary, I've always felt maybe if I'd have been there, I could have said something and maybe made, made something change or whatever. He goes, Ricky, you weren't going to change Ronnie's mind, you know? And uh, Ronnie was, he wanted to get on that plane and go. And uh, that everybody followed the leader. And uh, that's what they did. And um, so for me personally, uh, it worked out the way it's supposed to. Gary said, Ricky, it was for you to be here then, right now, instead of then. It was meant for you to be here now. And uh, that's been almost 25 years ago. Wow. 